This is the Crypto Mile, a square mile in the financial heart of the city. On this week's show, we'll be chatting with Professor Richard D. Wolf about crypto and the future of work. Welcome to the Crypto Mile. Today on the Crypto Mile, we have Professor of Economics Emeritus at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, Richard D. Wolf. Richard, welcome to the Crypto Mile. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Richard, the first question I want to ask you is, are economists ignoring crypto? Do you think it merits more academic attention than it is currently getting? Uh, the short answer to your question is yes, the vast majority of economists here in the United States pay little or no attention uh, to most of the uh, surrounding issues, if I could say it that way, uh, having to do with cryptocurrency. And that comes from uh, government officials, it comes from particularly the big banks uh, that run the American financial system. And given their instruction, more or less clearly put, uh, the academics tend to follow. The problem of how cryptocurrency evolves, what role it will have in society, is going to be shaped much more by the dynamics of capitalism and the critique and opposition to capitalism than by anything else. Now, many crypto proponents are saying that decentralized automated organizations or DAOs of the cryptocurrency ecosystem is a way to organize a truly democratic workplace that could possibly lead to those kind of collective decisions that are gonna benefit the many rather than the few. Do you, you know, have you read into these new DAO, the concept of a DAO, or do you think it's just another replication of the traditional corporation within the digital realm? No, I think, I think again, and I'm grateful that there are people in the cryptocurrency, let's call it community of folks that are interested, that are thinking like that. Could it be a way to really free things up to achieve a genuine democratic control? That's a wonderful instinct, if I could say so. But it also has to face what the real conditions are that will govern whether and how cryptocurrency is brought in, if it is, to the production process, along with uh, the decentralized allocation. If it's subordinated to the existing employer-employee structure of production, then my guess is it will be subordinated. It, it will be picked up in part where the parts don't conflict with that maintained capitalist structure and the parts that challenge it, perhaps in the interest of leisure or of less work, of all the things that people have dreamed about, at least for several centuries, uh, my fear is that the capitalists will do to crypto, to blockchain, to all of that, what they have in fact done to all of the others. The reality is the following. There, we do more hours of paid work per person in this country today than at any other time in our history. I'm convinced that our descendants will be looking back in horror at the years and years of technical possibility that were never taken advantage of to hold on to the profit system of capitalism. Do you think cryptocurrencies are offering people a kind of an illusion, a false promise, and it's actually distracting society from taking proper action to try to redress this issue and redress this balance? I don't mean to be, be hostile or anything, but to be fair, yes, I think there are people for whom uh, all of this to do around cryptocurrencies is a nice deflection or diversion of attention, particularly critical attention, from the institutions of the capitalism we live with so that we can all be focused uh, on something else that isn't quite so frightening as having people confront that capitalist system. Do you think if Karl Marx came back, would he actually look at something like Bitcoin or the blockchain about the fact that it's totally decentralized, it's autonomous, but it's also very transparent? Would he actually look and point at that and just say, you know, th there's some hope in this? Or would he see 
Ah, uh, this is also a problem. I think Karl Marx would say both things. It is a distraction and it is the germ of an awareness that we could get beyond the stultifying, mind-numbing condition that capitalism has brought us to. And also the inequalities and the instabilities that, yeah, it, it could be part of a revolutionary agenda, but that would have to be struggled for because there are powerful forces that want it to be nothing of the sort, that either want it to go away or to be folded in a very docile way into becoming another servant of the same system. Professor Richard D. Wolf, thank you very much for speaking to the Crypto Mile today. Thank you very much.